We're, we're gonna crash. I don't think this was planned. Season two? Hello? Uh, uh, hi, are you okay? Oh, oh hi! There's a green pig! I want the green pig! He killed my pig! I don't know what to do now. Where in the world are we, friends? This is definitely not the base we left over in Northern Lights. It's still a modded server because look at this wood. There is definitely not that type of wood in a non-modded server. I wonder what this house is. Oh, this is cute. Look at this house. Those beautiful little lanterns. I wonder what's upstairs. Oh, look at this. This is so pretty. Your world was corrupt, but don't you worry. New adventures await you here. New adventures, you say? Well, I am totally on board. New adventures indeed. We're in a brand new world due to a basically broken world. Unfortunately, Create Mod and Better Minecraft were not working together and a bunch of us were getting kicked whenever we tried to use Create Mod items. Our first order of business here in our brand new world is finding ourselves a brand new home to live in. Now, while spawn could certainly work, I mean, it is a biome, it is a place, and we already have a starter house here. When you're in a world with the Biomes of Plenty mod, your girl kind of wants to enjoy some of these brand new biomes. And thankfully, on a recent rescue mission to help out one of our server mates, I came across the perfect biome. However, this biome is a little bit of a distance away, so I think it is time for a little bit of a traveling adventure. Since we're running by here, uh, we're going to grab some of these orange flowers because it's in the build that I have planned for today's video. And here is our brand new home. Oh my goodness, look at these incredible lush arches. And there it is coming up in the distance. We are going to be starting our base here on the Mushroom Island. I am so thrilled. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Well, now that we are here at our base location, we need to start setting up and gathering all the resources we're going to need for everything. So I'm going to empty out my inventory into a couple of chests here and then we need to go searching because there is a couple of items we're going to need that requires me to travel once again. And the big one that I have not found yet is willow trees. And I don't know where I'm gonna find one of those. So we have to go find some of that. And we also have to go find some mud and do a bunch of mining down here under our island. Unfortunately, I didn't bring enough wood with me. What was I thinking? I only have four jungle plank. Question is, if I went that way, would I come across an island that actually has wood on it and not mushrooms? Now there is wood at that ship down there. Do I want to potentially drown and go down there? Okay, we have a beach and a tree, but no axe. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We didn't bring our crafting table with us. So here we are punching wood like it's day one again. We have our chest and let's get rid of all these items and we're off on more adventures. Oh my goodness, this took way too long to find. Finally, we have willow wood. Why is there no swamps in our world? This is insane. Finally, we are back with the spoils of our travels, but we still have some more resources to gather and that means going underground to go grab ourselves some stone and andesite and diorite. Thankfully though, we're on a mushroom island, which means no mobs.
Well, my friends, I think we are finally getting to the point that we can say we are ready to start building our build. We got a bunch of resources in here. One of the wonderful things that we have here on this server is the chipped mod. And in order to make stuff with the chip mod, we need to make a few tables. We need the botanist table, the mason's table, and the glass blower's table. So we have our lovely chipped mod tables to use. I'm super excited, guys. We're ready to start building. Welcome to our lovely seaside villa. I absolutely love how this has turned out. Oh, we're not done. No way, we are not done yet. We have gotten quite a lot of detail here on the houses, but you will see that if we take a sneak peek into these houses, that they are completely empty and I have opened them up so they are all one room which I have done purposefully because this space is going to be our storage room. And so I want it to be easy to come to any of these spaces, any of these buildings and easily grab any resources and materials that we'll need. And then the other thing that we are going to have to do before we can call this place complete is if we go outside here again, there's a few more details on the exterior I wanna do. And I want to use a lot of create materials in order to do that. But we need somebody who is a lot more knowledgeable about create than I am. So I think we go on another adventure and go see if we can find a mini. Hello. Hello. Hi. Where are you? Over there. Hi. Hello. I come for your knowledge of create. Oh gosh. Okay. I want to make some lovely create decorations for my new seaside villa. The biggest thing is sheets, copper sheets, iron sheets. Can you help me with that? Yes. So in order to make sheets of iron, brass, gold, or copper, you need a depot, which is this guy here. Okay. You put them on there and then you need a mechanical press, which is the guy up above and rotational power. So whatever you put on this will now get flattened. Well, we'll just try this because I do have like three. And then you just click to take it back. This guy you'll get into a little later. It's a deployer. Uh, then this guy here is a mill. You can use it to grind up like wheat to make uh, wheat flour and things like that. And then you have a mixer and a basin, which is another uh, common tool. You can use it to combine just about anything. So everything that you can use to make power will create a certain amount of stress units or SU. And if you make yourself a pair of goggles, you'll actually be able to see it. Uh, so we should do that. We should do that now. In order to make goggles, what you'll need is a gold sheet, two pieces of glass, and a string. There we go. Look at me go. If you look at any of these contraptions. So this is zero. But yep. when you turn this clutch on, ah, now it's look now at 5 the One thing we could do to give you a little bit more of a tutorial into Create, I love the rain, uh, yes. we could have you add on to the iron farm. To make the sail frames, you're going to need andesite, alloy, sticks, and wool. And how do you make the alloy? So you put nine in one corner, nine in the opposite corner, and zinc in the other two slots. There we go. Uh, so you want to make 16 sail frames. We can attach those to the windmill and get that started. And so now, as a result of that, this will produce a lot more power. So now that we're producing more power with the windmill, we should have enough power to add in a second drill. Three andesite alloys, one iron ingot, and an andesite casing. So in order to make an andesite casing, you'll need to get a log, strip it, and then click on it with an andesite alloy place it down and then and then click on it with the end site oh look at me get all these advancements and so now you can go into the 
crafting table and make the drill. And there. So we'll want to put a drill facing the belt just below this piece of glass right here. Yeah. So now we have to get rotational power. So you'll want to make a gearbox, which will require another and a side casing. In order to make small cogwheels, you need one plank and one shaft. So you want to place your gearbox right here. You'll want to place a shaft out of the back. And you'll want two shafts out of the back of the drill. And then you can use your belt to connect that shaft to the uh, drill. When we turn on our power using this lever here, now if you notice, your drill is spinning as well. Now all we need to do is add the water and the lava. So if I put water here, and you can put lava in the top bit of glass there. That's awesome. Okay. And also not as intensive as I thought it was going to be. So this is good. Well, thank you. I've, I've learned lots today. And now I feel like I can actually uh, make what I need to make to uh, finish up my little seaside villa. We are home and a big thank you to Minnie for helping us out with figuring out a little bit of the create mod. So in the back right here, I do have plans to put a small tiny alley in the back here and probably another building right here, but that's not coming in this episode. So in the meantime, at the back of this building, I want to put up a ladder and I thought it could be kind of cool to make it look like a fire escape. We take our copper ladders and then we're going to take our iron bars, which are actually called supported iron bars. And we're going to lay them all the way out across like this. And then we're going to take our iron trap doors and lay them on the bottom as a bit of a platform. And so we're going to end up with something a little bit like this. We have a second ladder going up to the actual roof and we have our beautiful fire escape all set up. And now if we head on down to the bottom, I have done a little bit here, but on the back here, I want to add this fluid vault. How far up do I want this? Yeah, that needs to go up slightly more. So we're gonna have to go and see if we can make a few more before we get the rest of this up. I also want to put in a few of these item vaults. So I think they could look really good side by side here. And I kind of want to put one more, but we'll see how it's looking. I also have a few mangrove crates, which I think could really look nicely along here. Yeah, that could work. It's a lot of colors, but I'm not really sure that that's a problem. I do think this is a better height. What do we got here? We're going to take fluid pipes and you can put it in the center here. And if we just do that, we now have a fluid pipe connected to the wall there. This one can actually hold fluids. So if we wanted to at some point, you could put lava in there, you could put water in there. There's a whole bunch of different uh, fluids we could put in there. On this side, I also really wanna have the fire escapes. So we have this one. And unfortunately we are one shy, but I have absolutely no more iron. So that's going to have to work. Oh yeah, I like that. Definitely gives a little bit more industrial vibe. What should we put into this uh, fluid vault? So let me know down in those comments what you think. So the other things that I wanted to do was I made a few fancy barrels. These are the fruit barrels. I really don't know if you'd have them on their side like this, but I don't know. It's, it's pretty. And I also have some fish barrels. So I think the combination of the two could kind of look fun. I also brought back a little bit of different lanterns so we're not using just the vanilla ones. For some reason when hanging them, you don't see the light. Why don't you see the lights when you're hanging them? See, you can see the light in it. Okay, so maybe we don't use this, this lantern and we keep with the regular ones. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this is. I'm really loving how this is all turned out. And I can't wait to add a building in the back there, which will cover up kind of more this ugliness here, put a nice little alleyway back there and just get our city rocking. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time to try and get our storage into these lovely buildings back here and I'll bring you back when I'm all done and show it off.
I have done it friends. I have transferred all our resources from up there at the top into our lovely storage unit. And I wanna show you around. I know I gave you a little bit of a sneak preview in that time lapse there, but I did a little bit more work off camera and this is what we have. I've kind of designated this as my stone building. So if you look in some of these chests, you'll see stuff like cobblestone and dirt. We also have our mason's table and also our glass blower's table. Now, if we come into this space, we have ourselves a little bit of a loft up there with a couple of barrels and some lanterns and a chest up top if we ever needed to store some extra things. And this is our wood storage area. So this is our carpenter's table right here. And if we keep going, we have ourselves our mob drops, which is denoted by this lovely zombie head that I ended up getting. I said there was no mobs because it was a mushroom island. I lied, there's a lush cave down there and mobs spawn in lush caves. So it's mostly safe and mob free. There's not a lot of mob drops yet, but if you go upstairs into the second level there, there is a bunch more stored you can use. And then of course the copper ladder to get you up there. Now in this room, this is kind of where all the riches go, but we have all our copper here. We have a bunch of iron related things here, although we have a severe lack of iron right now. And up here is where I had my diamonds, but I recently made a diamond pickaxe. So, well, that's all the diamonds we had. And if we come back down, this last building right here is where we store all our plant life. So we have our botanist table. We have some flowers back here and some dyes can go in there. We have our like vegetable foods. So I very much like how this has turned out and I think it's an excellent starting storage area. And with that, our starting storage area and the start to our base has been completed. And I love this area so much and cannot wait to add to it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're as excited for this world as I am. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are brand new here and I will catch you in my next video.